This is to introduce Peter Moran, leader of the Catholic Worker Movement and theorist of what a Belgian priest has termed the Green Revolution in a book by that name published by the Dominicans in Belgium. The following is a short historical analysis entitled Makers of Europe by Peter Moran. When the Irish were Irish, the Irish were scholars. When the Irish were scholars, the Irish were Greek scholars. When the Irish were Greek scholars, the Irish spoke Greek as well as Irish. And when the Irish spoke Greek as well as Irish, Greek was Irish to the Irish. Greek was Irish to the Irish, but now Irish is Greek to the Irish. Now the Irish speak Anglo-Saxon. Now the Irish shout with the Anglo-Saxons. Service for profit. Time is money. Cash and carry. Business is business. Keep smiling. Watch your step. How is the rush? How are you making out? How is the world treating you? The law of supply and demand. Competition is the life of trade. Your dollar is your best friend. So what? After the fall of the Roman Empire, the scholars gathered all over the Roman Empire, looked for a refuge, and found a refuge in Ireland, where the Roman Empire did not reach, and where the Teutonic barbarians did not go. In Ireland, the scholars formulated an intellectual synthesis any technical action. Having formulated that intellectual synthesis and that technical action, the scholars decide to lay the foundations of medieval Europe. The Irish scholars establish Salon de Culture in all the cities of Europe as far as Constantinople, where people could look for thought so they could have light. And it was in the so-called Dark Ages, which were not so dark when the Irish were the light. But now we are living in a real Dark Age, and one of the reasons why the modern age is so dark, it is because too few Irish have the light. The Irish scholars establish free guest houses all over Europe to exemplify Christian charity. It made the pagan Teutonic rulers tell the pagan Teutonic people the Irish are good people busy doing good. And when the Irish were good people, busy doing good, they did not bother about empires. That is why we never heard about an Irish empire. We heard about all kinds of empires, including the British Empire, but never about an Irish empire, because the Irish did not bother about empires when they were busy doing good. The Irish established agricultural centers all over Europe where they combined cult, that is to say liturgy, with culture, that is to say literature, with cultivation, that is to say, agriculture. And the word America was, for the first time, printed on a map 
in a town in East France called Saint-Dier, where an Irish scholar by the name Deodad started an agricultural center. <laughs>